Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a tutorial on how to get glowy makeup for spring, even though that feels pretty ironic right now because it is pouring down rain outside. It is still winter in Vancouver, like one day it's snowing, one day it's raining. Quite frankly, I'm over it. So I'm trying to put that gl healthy glow back into my skin. And I did partner with L'Oreal for this video, so all the products I use are from one line. So if you guys want to see what I used to get the look, keep on watching. I've been using the new L'Oreal Hydra Genius Liquid Care Moisturizer for my glow, the one for oily skin. They do make two other formulas, one for normal and one for extra dry, but I got that shiny T-zone, so the oily one works best for me. I love that it's water-based, so it feels really lightweight on the skin. Still gives me a crazy amount of hydration, which in my opinion, it's hard to find that balance when you have an oilier skin type. And it is a gel consistency, so it absorbs into my skin really quickly. Gives me a mattified and super smooth feeling, so I can skip makeup primer altogether with this. And it has this really soft, like, almost airbrush glow like look at that on my cheekbones I think that's my favorite part because I haven't found a moisturizer until now that will do that without feeling really rich and greasy feeling on the skin and for my ingredient junkies it has the good stuff aloe water and hyaluronic acid in it to lock in hydration and plump up your skin yes Moving on to brows, I'm using this pomade that you guys have seen me use in a ton of my videos. It's one of my fave brow products right now. As always, I start at the beginning of the brow, bring the color up into the arch, and then the tail, filling in those sparse, hairless areas, if you will, and then use a light flicks at the start to give me a natural look. The color I'm using is Deep Brunette. For foundation, nothing better to go with than the Pro Glow to keep with my glowy skin. So a few dabs all over the face and then I go in with a brush to blend it out. I use shade 205, which I think works. I think it would be even better with a little bit of sun, but I can dream, right? Definitely not in my weather right now. I used the Total Cover Concealing Palette and took a mix of the two darkest shades and applied that under the eyes. This cancels out my darkness and it does a little brightening as well. Love this concealer blender for fitting right in there to smooth everything out. I also used a bit of that darker shade to sculpt out my cheekbones and this makes them a bit more prominent and it warms me up at the same time. And with the product on the sponge, I just bring that up onto the temples and then the hairline to frame my face. The Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator really makes the glow pop. I warm it up, dab the product onto the cheekbones and I also bring it up onto the brow bones with the sponge. To set, I used the Infallible Pro Matte Powder and applied a light layer to the T-zone, making sure not to take away all of the glow, but locking in the areas that tend to get shiny on me throughout the day. I took some of that Lumi Illuminator and used that as a base for the lids. And then this palette, you guys know I love this. I multi-purpose with this all the time. Like right now, I'm using the gold highlight as an eyeshadow for the center of the lids. And it has this really soft shimmer to it. It's perfect for a minimal, fresh face look. And then you take a little bit of the contour powder, add that to the outer edges of the eyes. Kind of creates like the soft halo effect. And that's it. It's really all you need. I've been doing this a lot lately with my eyes. It's just a nice way to fancy them up without going too dramatic. To amp up the shimmer, I use the gold on the brow bones and this instantly makes your eyes look more bronzy. And if you want your lashes to look longer and more full, use a lash primer. I use the Voluminous Primer and then followed with my fave mascara. I've been using this for years. It's the Voluminous Carbon Black. Then I went in with some of the contour shadow along my lower lash line to frame the eyes and finish with some bottom mascara. I've been reaching for this Infallible Paints blush palette a lot lately. Has some really good colors in it. I mixed together a pinky coral, applied that to the apples and the cheekbones, and then topped it off with the gold highlight from that palette, just along the cheekbones for some more glow. You know you need it. It's more of like a radiance. No sparkly shimmer, which I like. And for lips, I decided to go pink. I used the new L'Oreal Infallible Paints in 314 Spicy Blush. It's a liquid lipstick with a glossy finish. Great pigment, but I decided to be a little extra. I used the gold highlight again in the center of the lips just to keep with my all over glow. And that's the look. Let me know, is this a look you'd rock? 
thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you're new be sure to check out my vlog channel life with Trina we're getting so close to the wedding so keep up with all the planning videos over there and I will see you all in the next one bye